So for the pinet uh, value, for this pinet 9 value right here, uh, we can say that whatever value we, uh, we, we will be will be getting here so already the pnet uh, the loading input we're going to use in the in our design so the pnet 9 is just from this table right here huh? this pnet 9 right here design wind pressure on walls and roofs in enclosed buildings so So th this is just a straightforward uh, input right here. You get the zones, zone one, zone two, zone three, zone one. On the effective area in the middle of the roof, zone two once again is the for the edges, and zone three is on the corner. So for a per lens, the effective area is two around 2.658 square meters. So what we're going to do is just. <coughs> Um, locate right here this column is for the effective area so we got for the zone 1 we got 1 we got 2 we got 4.5 we got 9.5 so for per lens it is 2.658 so for the exact value there is no exact value for 2.658 so I just use right here this if you locate this two, I'll be having a positive value right here, and the second value is a negative value. Now the positive value is the downward uh, direction or the positive pressure, and the negative value is for the negative pressure right here. Positive pressure going down, and then the negative pressure is upward. You just input that one no. for the zone one 1.09 for the zone two again the effective area we will be using this two also 1.09 and for the zone three one all are 1.09 for the downward pressure for the upward pressure negative 1.85 for the zone 1 for the zone 2 is negative 3.04 and for zone 3 negative 4.57 so that is what I inputted in this table right here now we all know that uh, this is a pressure this is a load area pressure uh, in kilonewtons per square meter so what we're going to input later on in our stud loadings is in linear loading or linear loadings I mean so what we're gonna do is just multiply these values right here with the spacing of the purlins so that is exactly what I did multiply this uh, 1.09 uh, for the spacing I got 0 0.97 all 0 0.97 because the same uh, value 1.09 for the upward pressure or the negative pressure same multiply this value to the spacing so that's it um, so right now we will be we'll start modeling our purlins